Hello everyone and welcome to Robotics and Mechatronics Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to correctly install Arduino IDE on a Linux Ubuntu computer. In particular we are using Linux Ubuntu 24.04, however everything explained in this video tutorial applies to other Linux Ubuntu distributions such as Ubuntu 22.04. So let's immediately start. First of all, open Google and search for Arduino download page. And if you click here, you should be directed to this web page. Or you can simply type this address over here. Then locate this download options menu. And since we want to install Arduino on a Linux machine, find the Linux. Here you have two versions. You have Linux app image and Linux zip file. Let's select the first option. That is click over here. Then I'm just going to click on download and click here. I don't want to receive additional emails and I'll just click on download. So what will happen now? This very important file will be downloaded. Usually my advice and this is what you need to do in this particular video tutorial is to save it into the downloads folder. So click on save and wait until the file is downloaded. Then over here, open the downloads folder and make sure that the file is located there. Now, note over here that the current Linux Ubuntu version, or not, not Linux Ubuntu, but Arduino version is 2.3.6. And remember this number. Everything explained in this video tutorial applies to other numbers. So you can see a bunch of files over here and here it is. Okay, next we need to create a workspace folder and then we need to copy this file or move this file to this workspace folder. Over here, I created a brief manual that explains all the steps and you will see the commands over here and then you can also follow what I'm typing or you can also follow this manual over here. So let's start from the beginning. First of all, open a terminal. If you're completely new to a Linux Ubuntu system, then opening a terminal is not so trivial. Well, you can click here and search for terminal and the terminal will be opened. Okay. Before we create a workspace folder, it's very important to update and upgrade our system. For that purpose, type sudo apt update and then do this and sudo apt upgrade. This will update the package list and it will upgrade all the packages and over here enter your super user password and now wait. It's going to take a while to download and to install and to upgrade all the packages. Of course, it depends how often you run this command. My advice is to run this command at least once a week. The next step is to go to the home folder and in the home folder create a folder called Arduino. This will be the base folder for our file. Then the next step is to copy the downloaded file to this particular folder and to do that you need to use the command cp then you need to specify the path of the downloaded file the downloaded file is in the downloads folder inside of the home folder and then just type arduino over here in tab and the file name will be automatically completed and then over here you need to specify the destination the destination folder is arduino then let's navigate to Arduino and over here you can see the file. The next step is to run the two commands. First of all, we need to run this command. This will add the apt repository universe. Enter your sudo password, press enter. And then after that, you need to install libfuse2. So let's wait here and run this command. Good. Next, let's repeat the list command. The issue over here is that we cannot execute this file. To enable the executable, we need to type chmod, then plus x, then type Arduino, 
and press tab to auto complete and press enter now if you press this command you will see that the file is green this means that we can execute this file since you can see x over here the next step is to run arduino now usually to run a program you will type this and then you will type the name of the file however in this particular case it's not going to work and the reason for this is that Linux Ubuntu 24.04 change a bunch of things consequently you need to type these parameters send box and now press enter and now press agree over here and then wait until Arduino is being configured if for some reason Arduino is being blocked during this first execution and installation of all the packages then you need to repeat this command that is again close the window over here if the window is stuck and then simply repeat this command so wait here until everything is being downloaded and everything is being installed here we are installing basic libraries such as ethernet stepper etc okay now let me show you one thing usually people who are not experienced with linux ubuntu do not know that when you actually run this file like this several additional folders are being created if you go to the home folder and if you click on modified let me click here so i can nicely list you'll see that two additional folders are being created if you don't see these two folders then click here and make sure the show hidden files is enabled so you can see this folder and you can see this folder over here these are the two additional arduino configuration folders that are being created in addition to this inside of the dot config folder you will see these two folders possibly there uh, there might be some other files place somewhere on your system however these are the main additional folders okay the next step is to try to test arduino execution so the easiest way to do that is to write a simple code so let's start with coding here i'm going to go back to arduino and then first of all i'm going to create oops let me just type it here i'm going to create a serial here it is and then here I will try to print something serial dot print line and let's try to print for example number 100 the next step is to click on tools connect your Arduino by using a USB cable click here to recognize your board and you will find your board if your board is not automatically recognized then what you need to do is you need to click over here so first of all click on port and click over here and this will automatically actually set your board a nice thing over here is that you can see the com number however there might be some issues that i will explain later on okay so let's now try to upload this file here you need to select this one again make sure that this is selected and let's try to upload and then you will see this message this message tells you that you don't have permission to open this device so let's now set this permission to set this permission let's do the following first of all let's close arduino click here and close it then let's not save anything since we will get back go back to the terminal and first of all type this this will list all the ports and here is our port on which to which Arduino is connected and then we need to basically run this we need to set the read write permissions and then over here you need to specify your username your username is given over here so type it like this and here it is okay then we need to type this make sure that this number is the same as this one over here that is the names are the same and press enter and now repeat the command so let's go back and let's try to run arduino and then again let's wait for a while again let's do serial dot begin and let's do again the same thing 
this might be a little bit oops this should be 9600 and then over here we can simply try to print something serial dot print line and then let's try to print print 100 and let's do this let's save this sketch by pressing Control s and then let's now repeat this try to upload and let's see what will happen however again you need to go to tools you need to select the port and here you need to select the board and now you need to upload and now everything is being uploaded done uploading no errors and let's see the results click on tools and click on serial plotter actually serial plotter is not what we want click on tool and click on serial monitor and you can see that number 100 is being printed so let's add some delay to make sure that this is working this is a delay in milliseconds let's save this let's run again let's click on serial monitor and now we can see that the numbers are being printed and this works as it should work okay now the issue over here is that every time you want to run arduino let me close this you need to go to this folder and then you need to run this command and this might be time consuming there is an easy way to run arduino in the sequel i will show you how to run arduino by simply clicking here searching for arduino and here an icon will appear and you will be able to simply click on that icon so let's explain that okay first of all let's type this sudo apt install gedit gedit is a very easy to use editor and i like it a lot and i'm going to use it in this video tutorial however you can use any other file editor next let's go to this folder local share and then applications so go over here and list all the files this folder contains the so-called desktop files desktop files are actually desktop shortcuts and let's create a desktop file for our arduino okay to do that we simply need to type g edit and then we need to type arduino.desktop okay if i now press enter g editor will appear and inside i need to type this let me copy this let me paste and let's explain what's happening over here we are creating a desktop entry or a shortcut the type is application here we are specifying the name and here you are specifying the absolute path to the file including the executable file name and over here you're printing or adding additional parameter no sandbox now to show you one very important thing open a new terminal and go to the home folder then go to your arduino folder and if you type pwd here's the path so this path is exactly the path over here home username arduino and then you need to specify the file name to get the file name you can simply type this and you can copy the file name and that's it so here i actually need to correct this number since it's not 2.3.2 it should be 2.3.6 and this is very very important so let me now again control s to save control x or basically you can simply type here to exit and then let's try it so click here and over here search for arduino and if you click here and if you wait for a while arduino ide will start and then again here we can actually print something else so let's change this to 150 and let's run this and let's see what will happen and now this new number should be printed out just let's wait for things to load so let's now upload okay so let's do okay no this is not here i should put 150 and that's it so let's now do this and now 150 number is being displayed okay that's all for today and thanks for watching